Yeah. yeah. Up here, a bit more yeah. Good morning, sheep. No, good evening, sheep fans. Actually, it's afternoon. We are here. Is that camera a bit dirty? What a start. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Starting bad here. Right, I think that's a bit better. Yes, we are here. I'm doing this mobile view. So if you're watching this later on the TV, apologies. I've decided to do it this way. Something a bit different. Anyone that's picking up live on the phone, hopefully this is a nice angle. We are scanning our U lambs today. They're not all U lambs. This one here is a gimmer. We have Lizzie and Gran here. Here's my mum. That's oh, that's Lizzie. The camera's backwards. And Jock is behind her there. So the full team, we're, we're live on, on YouTube because I haven't done a video for about eight days and I thought I need to do something. And we're just so busy scanning. I thought, perfect. Let's do a video about scanning. And what a beautiful evening we have for it as well. The lighting is lovely. Lizzie's like, hurry up, Cammy, let's do some work. So yeah, I thought if I do it this way, you can sit, you can watch it on your phone and enjoy a life for a little change. So hi, hi to Michigan, hi. I'll try and answer, I'm gonna jump in here and scan. And I'll try and answer your questions as we go. Hopefully it's bright enough in here. I think it will be. Wait, I'll open this front door so we'll get more light. That's light, here's in the trailer. That's it from behind. Oh, to be on this side, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll jump in and set the scanner up, that's fine. Oh, I think it'll be light enough in here, it's a nice night. So I'm going to hook you guys on here, right, let me just set the scanner up. We've got 60 to scan here, roughly. Do you remember what colours we do, Lizzie? Yeah. Uh, I, what what colours are we doing? Orange and triplets, red for an empty, green for a single. Ah, the door's shut at the front, that's fine, you can do that. Right. Okay. Right. Hi to Germany. Here we go. Hi from hi to Mid Wales. Fun fact, my dad was the first person in the world to ever scan sheep through a trailer. There you go. That is an interesting fact, alright. What do you say, Lizzie? Oh, to let them back? Oh, Aye, but they can stand in. Well, right, I see what you mean. That's fine, yep. Yeah. I've not to start yet, guys, so. Oh, hi, Santa Cruz, California. How cool is that? So, what I'm doing here is, guys, I'm just. I have a, a shedding door. Let me turn this camera around. Can I do that while we're on the floor? Here we go. Okay, so let me just unwind this so you can see. Sorry, this is quite a racket, guys. It's just a try and keep some content coming for you. So what I do is I can pull this and shed the sheep different ways. So I just sit here. So if I, if someone, a farmer wants to shed the sheep, I can do this. And there's also a door in the middle there and I can, I can actually put them out that door, but we're not going to do that. And today what we're going to do is shed them all to the side because we've got a bit of a makeshift set up here. So I'll just wrap this round here a few times. Sorry if you're watching this back on the TV and it's just this mobile phone version. I just thought I'd try this for, for something different. Or maybe I should, should I turn it the other way? No, it's too late now, I've started. Right. Hi to California. Just in time for pregnant sheep. Yes, I must. What you say, Lizzie? Oh, that's good, dear. Right, what was it for? Uh, singles is... Oh, I don't have blue. Uh, do you have blue? Hang on, I might have blurred them my seat. Hang on, sorry. Hi hey, folks. I'm just, we're just getting set up. What about if we just do green? Oh, they've got, they've got green hips anyway, haven't they? Typical. Um, what about if we do... Oh, I've not got any blue. Right, okay. Sorry folks, I'm getting distracted here by... Uh, no, you will. Right, hang on. Sorry folks. We're just waiting. Uh, I don't think we have blue, right? I'll need, we'll need to do. Um, well, I've got red for an empty, I've got orange and I've got green. I've got green on them, but let's just give them a green shoulder for a single. And then orange for a triplet and red for an empty. So, has everybody got that? Hi to Windy Germany. I'll try and watch you guys while I scan. So, let me just show you. Let me just turn you around and show you this all getting set up. So. Wait, I'll hook you onto my my scanner, guys. Hang on. Oh, Jock's getting restless there in his carrier. So, right, you can kind of see me there. 
Yeah, right, there you go. So lift that like that. Can you see that? Yeah. And then this is the counter, tally counter, comes out here. And it will go here. And then my this is my water pump. It goes in my water tub behind you, which I can't turn this round. Hi to Perry USA. And hi to everyone else that's commenting, that's pretty cool. Cool sitting here scanning, reading comments right now. Oh wait, I'll show you this turning on. What happens if I turn that way? Operate orientation is locked. All right, okay. So we have to stay this way. So here's what the screen looks like when you turn it on. Not, it shouldn't really be this dirty. If I was normally, if I was doing a video, I would clean that. So apologies, guys. Hi to Wiltshire. Hi, Suze. So this is the screen turning on. There you go. And that was the last scan I did. So let's reset that. And then you have this probe here. So this is a bit of glass. And this rotates around on the inside here. Pups are good, Jack, thank you. They're making my mum demented. Um, she's looking after them and they are, they are tearing the house apart. Yeah, the screen is very dirty. Um, but it's one of those things, it's like, it's all about like the positivity. Like If you just think about the negative, you'll always see the negative. So if you think about the dirt, you'll only see the dirt. Whereas I just think about the lambs. So I only see the positive. So I don't even see the dirt. Okay, first one, how are we going to set you up here, guys? Kind of like that. He's happy there. Is that okay? If I set you, oh, too far back. What if I set you there? I'll set you like that, right. Uh, lambing videos will start, uh, when the lambing starts, Stephen? Uh, no, we have some We have some due to lamb just ne next week or so. Uh, we have 70 early lambers. Right, so these are, these are getting quite well on these girls because they're shipping scanned every well ago. So the first one's a twin, so no mark on the twins. I'll just let the twin go. Good start, we're at 200%. These are, these are all homebred. No, they aren't. Some of them are bought in actually, so ignore that. They're not all homebred. Some are bought in. So singles are getting a green shoulder. And I'll need to write that down somewhere because every other single's got a blue. Either one of you sheep. Hi Jack from the Bobbles. Girl here, she's a set of twins, so she can just. This is a U lamb. Remember, we should show our U lambs. Hopefully, you can hear me okay. It's uh, there'll be a bit of rattling here. Maybe don't let it run up. As you can see, our friends at the side. It's a beautiful day here in the Shire, you're right, Scott. Fit. You're a single. Oh, you should have. Is that a Texo lamb? What is that? Next one is a Scotch mule, ewe lamb, and she's having twins. We don't really, with these ones here, uh, we don't really want the ewe lambs to have twins, we want them to have a single. But they are, they are big strong ewe lambs. I mean, I bought them in specifically to top them. Um, they're ones that I bought. Ah, oh, you'd have seen some of the videos where. Oh no, you didn't actually, because most of them I bought privately. So that's a twin again. And you go last. So we'd expect these to scan. They're big, strong ewes. Uh, I would expect them to scan about 140 percent, 150 percent. These uh, ewe lambs. But, you know, the ones like this, this is an empty. Big, strong ewe, ewe lamb. No real reason for her to be empty. But she is. Wait for an empty. Oh, a gimmer is a gimmer is a two-year-old sheep. So these these aren't gimmers, these are ewe lambs. Um, or hog you may say hogs. Or the hogs now really, it's after the new year. Um, I think it'd be fair to call them hogs. So this is a single. And that's a so she's a ewe lamb. She doesn't look like a ewe lamb because I show her. So I show the wool off her as a lamb. Go on last. Now they're a wee bit skittish, they're a wee bit skittish because this is their first time ever in the scanning crate. First time, first time, it's all first times actually for them. They're your lamb, so here's another your lamb, these twins. Hi Evan, how you doing? I've uh, got about uh, a thousand sheep, Paddy. All in. Our set of twins, 
you lamb, that's good. Careful. Is it good? I don't know. She's a big you lamb. A very big actually. She's nearly the size of some of my girls. And then this one here is an empty again, but my you lambs I will keep. If they're empty, I will keep them. Rightly or wrongly. Ah, no, rightly. I think. You lambs will get kept. Here is a, here's a chivy at meal, new lamb homebred. Well, homebred chivy meal, new lamb is off to a bad start because it's empty. <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad start or a bad, bad ending. But she's an empty. But she'll get another chance next year. So here's the next one up is a single, and that is a new lamb Scotch meal. Oh, that's, uh, that's an empty colour, don't you, isn't it? Single, on you go last. There's another new lamb. She feels empty straight away. I'm like, oh, this one's empty. Now she is empty. Here we go. Now they didn't get long with the tub. The new lamb's got a uh, 70, one, one tub. One tub with the tub, so 17 days was all they got, whereas the rest of my sheep would get about 40 days by the time I got it. That was another new lamb with twins. So the idea of that is I don't want the lamp, you know, the hogs dragging on and whatever we get is a little bonus. I, I never usually top hogs because it's just a pain and a lamp pain when we're already really busy. But to be honest, we've got so many hogs I just thought, you know, top the biggest ones. I think we've got about 250 U hogs or something this year. Um which is a wild number. She's a twin. She's she's actually a gimmer this one. She's a two-year-old sheep. There is a couple of two-year-olds in there. This, this is a Texo you lamb. And I was gonna say, if she wasn't in lamb, she'd probably be worth about 110, maybe more, 120 pounds. It should be fairly heavy. But um, alas, she is in lamb. She's a single. I'm not actually sure how she came to be in here, because I wouldn't use the puppet. Yeah, there's, six, there's 60 to scan here, if that's what someone was asking. Apologies, I'm trying to keep up with your comments as we go. Uh, no, we don't mark the twins. Cinders, we don't mark the twins because twins should be the most common. So it makes life, it makes it means you let, you have to mark less sheep because the twins should be the most common one. Not on these though, just, it's just the fact that the rest of my sheep have been done that way and there is vlogs to come scanning the rest of my sheep. I'm just, I think I've got about 15 videos sitting, sitting to edit. I literally spent all day doing this for other farmers and I've just been struggling to get home at nights and get, and get editing done so I thought let's do a live. Let's chat to you guys. Come on Lanny, this is a homebred Cheviot Mule Mule Lamb. She's absolutely massive. Absolutely massive. Tremendous actually, you know. And this is, a, this is another one here. She's a single. This one's been bought. These, this was bought for 100, 110 pounds. This one was, and it's an empty. But we'll give it another chance. As I say, they only got uh, a turn. There was maybe a bit stingy with the top. What happened was I actually needed. They were running with a Charlie, and I actually needed the Charlie for some use that I was short of a top to rotate round uh, and make sure that you know it's good to swap your tops round to make sure that they're all working. I was struggling for one for here, so what I did was I pulled it out of here after the 17 days. So we will have a few empty hogs. It's not the end of the world with hogs. If anything, if anything, it will make life a bit easier. Everybody, what are those things you are playing with? <laughs> Crawford, how are you getting on, mate? But, uh, we can't keep up five videos a week like yourself, so I thought I need to go live to get a video out just to keep up some resemblance of content. I'm in a dry spell. Um, who made a scan a year? Probably do about 50,000 this year, the time I'm finished. Spot another TV meal here. There she is. Mule, you hog, and she's yell. 
as well. And you go last. It's a Scotch meal, but I don't think it is. Yes, it is. is it? Yes, it is. The Scotch meal, and she is twins. Oh, James, I thought that was a three there, was it? No, it's not. It's a twin. Let it go. She's a twin. No mark on the twins. Good morning, whoever that. I just seen good morning. Can't mean it faded away from my screen. Apologies. Good morning, folks. Try to catch me. If you've got some questions or that about the scanning, then rattle them in. I'll try and answer as I'm scanning. They, they pop up on my screen. That's a single. Just take my Dorset lambs off their moz this year. Uh, so I Dorsets will lamb very early. Uh, quads get a double, uh, so orange is for triplets. If we, we won't really expect to have any triplets here because this is all, mostly all you lambs, although this is a you here. So for quads, I just do a double triplet mark. So if it's orange for triplets, there'll be two orange dots for a quad. Oh wow, loads of questions coming in now. So yeah. Um, Thanks, thanks for, hello for the dairy farmer in Minnesota. Thanks to whoever, if it comes up in phase away, I'm not too sure how to make it last longer, but thanks to whoever just said they saw me scanning a wee while ago. Okay, so this is another empty here. Yeah, quads, double orange, like I, I was saying there. Yeah. Uh, so, there you go, Chivit Mills. I don't know if I've any, I've had a Chivit Mills. But the good thing, like if your new lamb doesn't get in lamb, it's not a bad thing because she, uh, she'll be all bigger and stronger as a gimmer. So it does it does give them a wee check if they're in lamb as hogs. But these are big strong hogs, like I don't know if you're really getting a good look at them or not. You know, you can see the size of this sheep. Although this <laughs> typical, uh, typical this one's this one's a gimmer, this one's not a hog, so that was a bad example. There is, I think there's five or six uh, gimmers in here. Yeah, I've, sc I've scanned a five once. Um, I had a five and a clean, clean you, which for anyone who doesn't know, that's like a Welsh type of you, but you get a lot of variety in the clins. You get some right prolific ones and you get more hill types. So, obviously, it was one of the prolific ones. Oh, last week. Yeah, five, five and a sheep is the most I've had. That's not to say there's a. Uh, there's not been other fives that I've just missed, but that's entirely possible as well. But the most I've ever picked out is a five. That's a single Scotch meal. Next up is a Scotch meal. Then this is a, she was a hundred pounds I think this batch. I'm sure. I'm sure these game tags are off a billy, but I'm not just sure. Anyway, she's an empty, it's okay. There you go, lass. Well in lamb. And she is having a single. So that's a green dot in the shoulder. It's supposed to be blue, but I forgot to get blue. Uh, what what trailer is this? It's just a, a scanning trailer. It's just a scanning trailer. But it was in a video I did where it was getting all fixed up if you want to see it. Um, when we look back, you'll see it this somewhere. She's a twin, but she, she's a you. Yes, yeah. Jesus, what about you? All good here, lad. Good crack, just some, hey, hey, hey. some sheep coming up. We've got 37 done so far, there's 60 to do. Fair play to you all for jumping on this in the middle of the day. Oh man, we're 19 minutes already. Nobody's going to watch this back later, but hopefully you're enjoying it being seen it live. Thanks for jumping in. So that's a new lamb with twins again, which is a bit, you know. Um, Sky and the puppies are great. They are ready to go to their new homes at some point. The first lambs are due at the end of this month, so like another week. Um, we've, we have girls in the shed already, but um, due to slow high to wheels, uh, due to slow YouTube editing, which is why I'm doing this live video. I have to be able to steady girls. Very loud. What a lot of rattly parts in this trailer. And another set of twins and a nice a nice U hog. Oh I got in great again, it was good crack. Oh, try to guess Karen, hey. I'm I only guess get it right Karen, tell me what this one is. In fact, tell me what the next one is and I'll just say that's right. 
Here we go. What's this one, folks? Have a guess. What have most of the achievement meals been? I said empty. You're right. Twins, you're so optimistic. I love that's what I love for you guys. You're just full of optimism. But we're actually on for two empties in a row. But that's okay. As I said, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. But we did have that issue. We had to take the top off after 17 days. But she's a bigger sheep. Again, she's not in either. That's okay. Next up we have, oh this one's in lamb, this is like a, that is a meal, this is a meal. The meals are definitely seem to have turned better than the, the Cheviot meals. But to be fair, I don't really read too much in there. Maggie Lane in Ireland, how are you? That one's an empty, and you go lassie. You're right. Well, 46 done, 14 to go. We're just, we're just on that 100% mark. This will probably take us close to being into it. Steady go. This is such a racket. Such a racket. You're a single. Oh, enjoy your work, Linda. Have a good one. Come on, get us. Oh, there you are. Rattle, rattle. And a single. Oh, I oh if I tap the screen, I can see the comments. Hey, I, Robin, a hey, ah. I'll be honest, Robin, I think it is easy, but maybe I'm being unfair, like, um, I, honestly, I think, generally speaking, farming is quite easy because you're doing something you enjoy, so it's always easy when you enjoy it. I think, you know, real hard work is like a mum up, up, up there, a single mum up in Glasgow working, you know, 40 hours a week for minimum wage, trying to keep two kids going, that's, that's hard work, like, what I'm doing isn't hard work. That's just my opinion though, I don't want to offend anyone. So she is massive, she's a twin, she must be a gimmer. Should be about, should be nine to go. Well no, I think we're one less anyway, so I think there's eight to go. This one's a yell. We say yelled for the empties. No triplets yet. No triplets yet. James, these are mostly hogs, I wouldn't want to really find any triplets here. Twins like this one, nice. they're very lively. Anyone just joining, I was saying these are new lambs, so they're very lively because they're young and it's all new to them. It's all exciting. Oh, my son, you go. On you go. Don't break my arm. So there we go, we did get a three after all. That's a gimmer, that's not a U-Haul, so it's not so bad. Come on, Lassie. Come on, Lassie. Oh, Jim, some man, how you getting on, lad? Thank you. Some man? Oh, on you go. Foggy, here we go. What's next? One jump out. Is she? We had one jump out, so there you go, there's one less to spin. Is that a 
the last one at the back. One left in the pen. One left the pen herself. These things happen. This is the last one then because one's jumped out, but we'll just need to imagine what that one is. We'll run it as a twin and it'll probably be empty. Um, okay, last you're an empty can you go. Wait, I'll just turn this round out so we can. There you go. Yeah, I grew up on a farm. Shearing sheep is the easiest way into farming. Just become a sheep shearer. Oh, there she goes. And then she'll come round here. Right, outside. Oh. Right, outside. Outside. Next stopping they're running away. There's Lizzie and Jock. Outside, Meg. There you go. Right, sorry, let me just turn this around, folks, and we'll get a wee, a wee run down here. Right, well, let me turn around and I'll show you the screen. Here we go. Right, here's the screen here. Bit dirty. So, those hogs there, I say they got 17 days with the tub, and we had 19 empty. 19 empty, 17 singles, 20 twins, one triplet, that was a gimmer, not a ewe lamb. And we got 105%, 57 total. So there you go. There we go. Let me just come out here. Oh, nice to back out fresh. Here's Gran helping pack things away. Oh, right, she's there. Ah, it goes in there. Right. Say, Mum, don't take it too far away. It goes in there. And here's the main man here. Where is he? Oh, <laughs> Mum's just standing. Oh, he's a bonny boy, isn't he? Uh, Cinder's asking if you're looking forward to getting back to shearing. I'll probably never look at that now. Ah, oh, you'll get some. You'll shear a few this year, though. Eh? Aye, you'll just have Jock on you like that. Mm. That'll be fine. Aye. How cool is that thing? just sits there the whole time, quite the thing. Okay, so there you go. I got a video done, guys. I know it's been on for absolutely ages. Um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. The wee Scotsman there, Gunga, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right arm, actually, right arm doesn't actually get too sore, to be honest with you. Um, what does get sore? My bum. My bum gets sore uh, sitting in the, the scanning trailer all, all year. Actually, just my right bum cheek. That's the politically correct thing to say. Well, that's not swearing, eh? Yeah, my right cheek gets fair numb. Um, so, so, so much so that when I'm sitting in the car now, I like sit on my left just to give it a little rest. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, all good, folks. Uh, that's us. I'm going to wrap this one up then because I appreciate you all coming on and, uh, and watching. Uh, Jim, thanks very much for that. You're absolutely, you're some man. Um, yeah, that's it for this one, folks. It's good. To, oh, look at that! Like a halo. How appropriate. <laughs> Cami the sheep, farming angel. Um, no, thanks very much uh, for watching this one, guys. Sorry, I've done it. Uh, buttocks, my right buttocks. Uh, thanks very much for uh, watching this one. I know I've done it on mobile mode. Just cause I thought I'd try this for live. Maybe I should have turned it the other way. I'm learning. It was just to get some content out because it's going to be another couple of days before I get a video edited. We've just been so busy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next one, sheep fans. And I've got a new wee slogan I'm going to try. You can you can let me know what you think about this in the future comments. But it's when you think you can, or you think you can, you're probably right. See you for the next one, sheep fans.